this is Belinda with Belinda's Bobbles and welcome to DFW Fiber Fest 2024 Part 3. If you haven't watched Part 1 and 2, please do go take a look at those videos. There is something different on each one, such as these little wristlets. Aren't those adorable? Add those to a bag or a yarn holder. All these vendors, there were 102 vendors, no, 103, sorry, vendors um, between the three videos that I was able to see. Oh, I love Apothecary's things. Aren't these gorgeous? She was new to me this year. I hadn't noticed her before. She may have been there previously, I'm not sure. But with all those vendors, there's always different ones that you just don't catch your eye, but may do another year or there's vendors that are not there every year and maybe other years but DFW Fiber Fest is I think it's getting ready to have its 20th anniversary next year it's in um, Dallas Fort Worth area of Texas which is where I live so I went on September 21st and I'm just inviting you to tag along with me um, I had my brother there part of the day, visited with friends and everything, but I would love for you to join me just looking around at these different shops and different vendors, and I have a few things up my sleeve, too. Oh, wow, look at this. I do love tweed. Not so much pumpkin spice, but I do love tweed. Okay, so you are my co-pilot on this day wandering through. Just tuck yourself in here next to me. Let's do a little bit of looking. I'll have all the um, different vendors' names alphabetically listed down below, as well as making sure that you can see them as we're looking through. Please do leave a comment as to What's your favorite thing that you saw? Jim Lux Fiber was actually in Virginia also the very next weekend with me because I got to go to a second fiber festival. So there will be video coming up soon of Shenandoah Valley Fiber Festival. Man, these videos, you would not believe the amount of time it takes just to put together one of these 30 to 40 minute videos. But I'm loving looking back through. And I love the chance to be able to take you with me. Uh. How many projects are running through your head while you're looking through all of this? Rowdy Ranch, they have Angora, as well as this beautiful striping yarn, but all this fiber and everything, a lot of this is Angora. And they did have information about the different animals on their farm. That was so soft. Okay, so this is where the scent mm. was wafting from. Can you just smell it? <laughs> All right, in my last episode, I said something about I needed to go on a rave. All these black light relax, reactive um, yarns are just amazing. I love bright yarns and oh, wow. Oh, hold on a second. I think I see someone over here. Let's go talk to one of the vendors. Oh, I know. That's I know who belongs to who. <laughs> How's it going? It's doing well. How are you doing? Ah, uh, tired, but. Mm -hmm. So some of her stuff is already out, but she's 
definitely going to be updating her job too. So. Yeah, and I can usually find her over it on the lamb as well. So that's where I've yes. picked it up before. Yes. So, yes, <laughs> I am quite familiar. and I love it. That makes me happy. <laughs> I even have some minis that I had. Heather from On the Lamb grabbed for me whenever I was working through her last show. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Oh, look oh. at these. Prep Eclectic is new to me. <laughs> oh, and aren't these purses and bags fun? I will definitely share it. <laughs> Now she says that something in a minute because we're going to talk okay. to her about that jack-o'-lantern that was on the okay. backpack a minute yeah. ago. Yeah. Okay. Go on there. I love the snowman. That Thank is you. great. And then I have the jack-o'-lantern too on the mannequin. Ah. Uh, a little ball of yarn above the snowman. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No, it is. How's this for an acronym for Mabel? Makers always bring extra love. And boy, did she. She takes all of these quilts, antique, vintage quilts, and turns them into jackets and bags and just repurposes them in such an amazing way so that you can see all the love that was put into the original quilt or quilt top. Oh, thank you. Because I hate sewing, it stresses me. I love how in, she's giving this quilt new life. <laughs> so just all the detail you've gone into with this is just amazing. Now you know me and sewing, it's not my favorite thing, but I do have such an appreciation for the work that has gone in, look at this even fanny packs, um, the work that has gone in to all of these, the original making of the quilts as well. Look at this bucket hats and even bibs. Red Stag Fiber is one of Bill's favorites. He got some yarn from them last year to make, I can't remember if he made a sweater or a vest, but they have woolly wools as well as some superwash wools. And they always bring their fireplace. And there were some different show colors all throughout the show. Her Dazzling Creations was a small vendor that I had not met before. She's, I think she's from the Houston area when we were talking. And this was her show colorway. I love getting to meet new vendors that and new dyers and just see what's in their repertoire. Everybody does things just a little bit different. And just careful going through Ennis. Stop, I was going to say Rice has never given me trouble, but our... Leading Men Fiber Arts is of course is a large um, vendor. We've got large and small vendors and I love that. So many different things and all of their shawls for inspiration. You gotta love a sample wall to go with all these different yarns. Shall we just kind of run down through here? I keep going to all of the um, fall colors. I still want fall. We got it for about a week.
Now, okay, so here's something that really caught my eye here at Aunt Steph's. Look at the yarn holder there. Isn't that cool? Looks like crocheted, right? It's printed on fabric. Isn't that great? Working with three skeins in a crochet project. <laughs> Carrying them up the side, and it's like, ooh. All these great bags. I need a few new project bags, right? You're with me on that, right? Is some place to put the new yarns. See, you're getting the full experience. I hope Michaela got her prize. <laughs> Bill actually won a prize. I don't know if he ever went back and got it, though, because when he went over there with his ticket, they didn't know what he had won. And then I don't know if he ever went back with his ticket again. Oh, well. Look at these containers to put fiber in. Hmm. Always cool ideas. Okay, I've got to get the drop spindle going. I'm seeing way too much fiber and it's just calling me and who's when I go back and edit. I actually pulled one of your skeins out of my um, stash last week and was playing with it. Yeah, the one I had out Theodora's there. Pearls has some amazing yes, soft bamboo. So, was two color, so I'm like, okay, I've got plenty for another two color <laughs> skein. Ah, uh, can you just feel it? Just imagine silky, silky. So they can read it. Oh, Gritty Nitz is going to tell us a few things. So I'm going to step back and let him have the floor. Got to follow your arrows. <laughs> The All Year Avon Club, it's $18 a month, mm -hmm. and you'll get two mini skeins of this yarn, and it's all gradiented into each other, so you just jump in at any point during the month, uh, any point during the year, and next month you'll get the next color in the series. And it's, it, it isn't a set, you know, 12-month cycle, but it's just yeah. whatever, whatever Natasha dies will match, you know, what happened last month. So you can make a piece like this with it, where this is month one, month two, month three, month four, month five, and just, you know, with only two mini skeins a month, it's a nice easy pace. It's not going to keep. Yeah. You know, it's not going to build up on you. And it's that very economical with eighteen dollars. You said eighteen dollars a month. A eighteen dollars a month. Yeah. For the two mini skeins, free shipping, and you get a ten dollar off coupon to use in the online store. Wow. And so you can use that all month long. Use it twice, and you've paid for the for, you paid for the subscription. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now where are y'all out of? Houston. Okay. Mm. Right Houston. I I'll right? forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> We only have the, the online store, not a Yeah, program. no, that's fine. Yeah. I, I don't drive down there very often anyways anymore. Okay. And so, <laughs> but yeah. And then we have a similar deal with the, with the yarn of the month, you know, a skein uh -huh. of the, the worst that are the fingering weight, a little goodie like this, free shipping, and the $10 coupon. Cool. And this one's $30 a month. Similar if we spin, we do five with as well. Okay. I'll definitely make a note of that. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that, is, that, I know. I'm already. I'm already thinking. Right? You know I mean, that. It's, it's pretty cool. You know, I'm. Like, like this is, I, I love this. Like you yeah. just like sit here and just work on this all year long, and just pick it up and uh, put it down as needed. I know, and that's just such an easy. Right. I, I love the detailing on there. As far as it's just enough. Mm -hmm. Back and forth. Yeah, this is a pattern oh. we have for free. It's called something like kindness and something. Chaos and kindness. Chaos, Chaos and, and kindness. kindness. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, was already going to be 
<laughs> so of course I've got to go. <laughs> but okay, I will put that in part of my make nine for next year. <laughs> I love how you have that styled. Oh, thank you. That is all her. <laughs> how to be styled. I know. I need to. You're amazing. <laughs> it is. And it's so well made. And the fact that helping, helping out others in such a way is. Uh, I'm thinking blue and gold today for some reason. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> you, you got a theme going or something? You I need guess, to, maybe you need to switch to your other vest you that get, you've got in your bag. Get, get <laughs> green and brown. All right, we'll tell you what. How, how much? How much do I owe you? At least wave and show off your vest, even though I know. Thank you. Okay, Bill, we need to move somewhere where I can wear one of those hats. Um, yeah, they're kind of at war with uh, the Ukraine right now, so I would... Um, well, I could do it in Alaska, but I don't, I don't know. I, I think Karen's house is starting to get filled up with grandkids. <laughs> Probably not, we can dream. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't get your name in there prominent, then by the time I'm going back and looking at it, I'm lost. <laughs> Conserving threads is all plant-based fibers, and I had absolutely no idea how many plant-based fibers there were. Okay, so we've been next. Hmm, interesting. And here's Wisconsin showing off some amazing spindles. I'm telling you, drop spindles are talking to me. I'm seeing them everywhere. Also a lot of 3D printed items that I'm seeing everywhere, including, look at this, being made in front of us. Okay, I know... I'm like, okay, yes, I, since I see your stuff on Instagram, Oh, Nordic Star Yarns, I'm I like, met okay, them I last year, and, oh, like, if you're not following them on like, Instagram <laughs> and looking at all their yarns, you need to be. It is so beautiful. Oh. And these neons. Okay. So I'm following instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Gets anything at all, gets a 
So are you looking some of these people up on Instagram while you're watching this video? That's what I tend to do. Oh. They had a few different, I mean, from earth to bad sheep, just some different yarns, like a little mini shop right there. An hour a day keeps the psychiatrist away. Okay, so I have something special for you here. Gloria, that is the dyer for Hank Me Home Tonight. She came back with me later in the evening, and she's going to put together a bat, and you get to come along with us. It's going to be two plus ounces. So generally we weigh it out. These are so what are you going to add to your greens? It's going to be woodsies, like what I what I really am thinking is like yeah. something. And then some of each of these. Yeah, but everything. Is that what you want? Or do you want to do this? Is all yeah. Good. This is. I mean, this, this is basically going to be the same. So do you want to just divide box. all four of these pieces? You don't want to carve that. No, I don't want to do that. I, I want to do something. Um, but um, or not something in this round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It probably will not be exactly balanced. Kind of close. I know. It's not, but we can weigh them before we go to make sure I don't have a serious imbalance. Let's do that with the first one. As Lena doesn't weigh anything, so again, we're not going to worry about that. Okay, I'm just going to put this all here. What are you thinking? And where does that I keep going to that. Okay. So, Mobby yeah. purple. So you want there. purple. See, I'm not, I'm not yeah. doing purples. I'm going brown. Yeah, okay. The other thing we can do That's is I can just start tearing strips off. Okay, so let's not stuff in here if you don't um, find what you're looking for there. But very much a multi yarn. Right? We'll not get lots But of I do purple. love. I, I like love, the. I love that. Yeah. The offset that that's going to cause. Yeah. Can I rummage through your multis to be like, see if I find yourself. anything so super weird? Help yourself. You want the. You, no. you don't want to squat. And I'm just going to dive and kill my ankles as I. <laughs> just please stash dive. This is another awesome. See, I like stuff like that, but I, I want to go like darker, like darker, darker. Ah, gotcha. Like, but you just dig around in there until you. <laughs> Stay. Do you like shimmer? I'm not a huge shimmer person. Not a problem. I'm, I'm like a... She does shimmer for people like me. I do shimmer for her, <laughs> but I like... Um, yeah, let's get, yeah. I just wanted to fix that's our last piece. I just need something darker. I think this is a lot of... Something like that. You need a tree bark. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're looking for... Something the textures of the, you know, to put the texture of the tree bark in. Well, that's good. Okay. This one needs to be in there. It's really good color. It's, it's going to need that pop of light. Nope. You need to go. Hi. What's that dark one? Yeah, you got that in there twice. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> no, right. What if I do? I think that. Yeah, I t the gray I is cool, but I would. I don't think it's right for this one. I think if we do that, focus more on the greens throw. Not not that whole thing, but that just a little yeah. bit of pop of that orange. Yeah. And then pop of that yellow. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Okay. Now do you want two of that mossy green? Yeah, I want it okay. to be more okay. green. Okay. Um, it cannot go sixteen wide. It could be eight I, I wide. Totally understand okay. 16. So it could go eight wide, it could even go ten wide, then okay. after that it's gonna start stacking. Okay. I just wanted to say I'm, I'll stack. I have no problem stacking. Good deal. So go 10 wide and we'll... 
Yep. Still, yep. You're not stealing one. nothing. It's all yours. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's your one, two, three, four, no. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's as wide as that'll go and really keep its stripe integrity. I need some blue on that side, some blue on that side, some green on that side. I'm okay with this. I can rip these in half. Mm, yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. Okay. Okay, everyone, you have ex six, exactly six minutes, so you can either you're fine. wrap up your purchases, say hi to your friends, or you can run through the vendor hall and go to a supermarket this week and pick up some things that's allowed too. But after that, in exactly six minutes, you got to get out. No, <laughs> shut your face. I do what I want. I do what I want every day, man. Strong. Yeah. By strong, I mean that. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> All right, cool. So, what's going to happen is these eggs might mix up and up. These are not going to stay discreet halves. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to card all of these top pieces in until I get to your bottom layer. And I'm going to make them all one sheet. Okay. And then I'm going to card the, all the other pieces in and make them the other sheet. It's basically going to be a layer back. All right. Perfect. So I'm just going to start carding these in. This first layer is going to be these guys. That's in our second layer. Second layer. Question for you. Yes. So there's your first layer. Mm -hmm. I can I, I cannot run a four ounce bat through this twice. The carter won't do it. It's just too much for it to chew. Um, I can run. This is the way this base looks now. These colors are um, more discreet than they might be. If I run it through again, they'll be more blended. I, I'm perfectly happy just to run these to run this layer in on top of this one and call it done. If you want it run through a second time, then I have to do them separately, and I don't care which one. Do you want them? Do you want them more blended than that, or do you want them about that blended? Either one is okay with me. About that plan, and then we're going to see what we got. Take it off. Take it off. Unfortunately, it is 3 p.m. Ooh, he can do all the announcements. He's a sexy voice. Goodness. We would gladly see you tomorrow. <laughs> you don't have to start. At 10 a.m., right in the early. It's not that early. Mm.
10 a.m. to 3 p.m. You don't have to go home. But you have to leave. But you got to get up out of here. <laughs> and look, we can't wait to see you tomorrow. All right. Don't, don't get mad. Don't, don't get mad. mad. <laughs> yep. All right. I'm going to take it off and you can see it in all of This is fabulous. I love this. In all of its stripey glory. All right, so because we put each layer through once, the layer should stay together, but it may want to separate along the stripes. Just be aware of that when you're spinning it. Um, you, if you know that, and you may want to separate it into stripes as you spin it anyway, um, because it, this is a four ounces of bat is a lot to hold. Right, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, but ultimately, how you deal with this is up to you, up to and including, as you heard me say, putting it on a shelf and going, that's mine, and I like it. I do that a lot. That, you know, time honored. All right, so there's one side. Last of that off there. Ta-da. Oops. Ta-da. Nice. <laughs> and there's the other side. Yeah, I'm into that. Totally different. Love it. All right. Oh. Good deal. You happy? Beautiful. Yeah. And I was like looking all through my videos going, how did I miss that? So, yeah. So, I got those are made by uh, yard dry crafts. Mm-hmm. Um, and the video comes with me because she lives in Yeah. Bit. Yeah. So, I travel from Seattle, and then we put this together. Well, this way you get a good visit. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And we're back on track again and getting to meet up with some different friends that were coming from different parts of the country, and they meet up and have their booth here together. Again, drop spindles. They're calling my name. What am I going to do? Oh, look at all of this gorgeous embroidery. It's like stepping back in time. Oh. My mother could do embroidery. I can cross stitch, but I've never been able to be very good at embroidery. All those threads, fiber. Oh. Okay, I'll be back in a little bit. No. If I don't start showing where who you are. Okay, so what is the story behind the name? So when I was starting out, um, when we decided that you know I was gonna dye yarn full time. Uh huh. Yeah, a friend of ours. Um, he was like, I don't even know anything about yarn. And I said, Oh, well, you know, why don't you just like you know, you love to Google. So he um he Googled it and he was like he Googled literally yarn words, right? Uh-huh. So we found frog and he was like, Frog, what's that? I said, Oh well, you know, you have to rip it, rip it, and it's yeah. a bad thing. And he was like, Hi, I didn't know there was any such thing as a bad frog. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> just hilarious. Like, just silliness. Okay, I'm back. They love to name their yarns after the wildest things, and it's just, oh, I had a fun visit there in the Bad Frog booth. <laughs> Please do look them up. They're such beautiful, soft colors. Been hit, been hit with all the neon colors all day. This is just, it's like all of a sudden I've t um, stepped into elegance. <laughs> trying to give her privacy. <laughs> Okay, a ghost is following me around now. <laughs> I have had such a fun time. I hope you have too. There's just a few vendors left here. 
course, make sure you look at all of these. And then at the very end, that's why I'm coming in now and just doing a little bit of housekeeping. But at the end, I'm going to have a um, interview with the designer as she tells us about her um, beautiful new top that she's designed and is showing off. But look at all of this. Ah. And there's still so much here. I think I've got about three or four vendors before we get to that last one. But please do drop me a note, like the video, please share it, uh, and come back and see the videos that are coming up because I have some new finished objects that I really want to show off to you. I'm just trying to get a little bit of this done first. but. Uh, if you like knitting and crochet, please do come over and visit me on my channel. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, and these braids. All of those braided minis. Oh, and I really did like these shawl pins. And of course, pom poms. Lazy Cat Yarn, along with just her regular gorgeous um, yarns, she has silk. She does an amazing job with silk, and hers was actually the first silk yarn I ever purchased. Oh, those vibrant reds still are jumping out at me. Okay, so we need other things besides yarn, right? I mean, we need badges, we need pins, we need things to decorate, you know, we need needle stoppers, you know, there's just, and stickers. Aren't we all queens of yarn? And kings, of course, too. But we need something to just kind of show that we are knitters and crocheters and that we need to be able to put on some of these great bags like what Button and Boo has. I mean, Harris Tweed here in the U.S. Ah. Oh. And who doesn't need an Outlander bag? No, I may have taken something along the, these lines home with me. You'll have to come back and see the video when I go through everything I take home. All right, a little bit left here and then I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching and listen to the end and I will see you again next time. Make sure you get a chance to listen in on this um, interview coming up. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I was just admiring it and everything, and I was just wanted to make sure I had the name of it, your pattern on there. A A R R I G A N. And where is it available? It is on Ravelry. Okay. It is on LouisianaYarnGuys.com. Yeah, and it's on LadyNightDesigns.com. Okay, cool. Thank you. It is made with the Louisiana Yarn Guys Providence Yarn, which is 50% superwash merino, 50% silk. It is a very soft, squishy fiber and is a dream for her to wear. It's like Lissa Blue. Yes, it is. Oh, that is yeah. The color that it was made with. The pattern is size inclusive and is very it, well written. Yeah, it is. Thank you. It is very size inclusive. So.
I love just the lace detailing that you have and on there, and the neck pattern, and the neck, and the neckline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the dummy, it looks lower. No, it needs to be reshaped. Yeah. Um, I didn't have time no. before the show to block it for my daughter and reshape it. Um, but it is a very modest, comes to about here. Mm -hmm. It's above cleavage. Right. Um, it's a, no, I, can I see made that. it to be very classic, very tailored. It can be dressed up, it can be dressed down. Yeah. I've worn one of my samples with blue jeans to a concert. I've worn it with black dress pants for an elegant evening on a cruise ship. So, so. It can go kind of any way you want it to. Thank you. Uh, this is probably my pride and joy.